Hey everybody, my name is Ramon, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Uh, in the last part, I had some severe technical difficulties. Um, I went and got a new emulator and figured out how to use it, and we're going to go back and do that fight we just did, and hopefully it fucking works better this time. I'm thinking that the episodes are actually going to look better th from now on because I'm using a better emulator. Uh, I'm going to plead with them and then fight their, their faces again. So yeah, we're just going to do this fight over. Just want to see if it runs better overall. Um, it already looks like it does. Or it looks like it runs a ton better. I don't know why I, I was using the other emulator. Um, this even looks better, honestly. Um, let's fight him. Yeah! Okay, and fight the hench. Yeah, so... Um, I'm using... I was using... For those of you guys that don't know, I was using... S... S9... Or SNES 9X or something like that. It's it, it's like an OpenGL-based one. This one is ZSNES, which is the one that most people, I think, use. Um... So he's going to charge us $200 a night. We're not doing that. Um, I'm going to set a fucking timer because I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Whoops. Start. Okay. So, yeah, I just wanted to do that. I basically had to play up until where we left off and figure out how to import the save file from the other emulator. Uh, yeah, we're going to go talk to Melchior. I think he's going to tell us to go west, right? Oh, hello. Can I just do a weapon? Oh, yeah, I, didn't, I actually didn't buy that weapon. I'm going to buy that weapon this time. The red katana. That would have been bad, because everything else is good. Hammer arm, titan vest. Well, I have the money. No, don't do I have the money? No, I don't. What if I sold you some stuff, like my maiden suit that nobody's wearing, and this bronze edge that nobody's gonna use, and this iron suit that's nobody's gonna use, and this karate gear that nobody's gonna use, and this steel sa- Fuck, dude. Remember to sell your stuff. Load sword that nobody's ever going to use. Both load swords. The bronze bow. Holy shit. I'm rich, bitch. Uh, let's get the titan vest. I will never have to worry about money ever again. Um, ah ha ha. Melchior stuff. Is that, what did I make his voice? I don't fucking remember what I made his voice. I'm going to make him a new one. He's going to be Nicolas Cage now. <laughs> That's going to be his voice. He will be Nicolas Cage. Titan vest. I need the sight scope. You have a defender. What does defender do? Defender raises your defense. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Cool. Ah, weapons. Weapons. If there weren't any uh, uh, weapons, if uh, there, there weren't any evil in this world, there would be no need for weapons. What a sad state of uh, like affairs. No, I, I don't. I don't need any weapons. Really, where you know to find me if the need should arise. What's down here? Nothing. There's nothing down here. I'm sure this will come into play later. Okay, yeah. Uh, I have to say already this game is running a thousand times better. So I already went and talked to Lavos. I went to the... What's, what's this building right here? Elder's house. I'm Ozzy the blah blah blah, uh, the seventh, right? Eighth. I'm Ozzy the eighth, Medina's village leader. My ancestors served the great Magus. Oh, great Magus, why did you simply, why didn't you simply exterminate the human race four hundred years ago? God, you suck. This work is brutal. Ozzy the eighth has ancestors. <laughs> it's not the same voice. Ozzy the eighth has ancestors. Fame to the bosses around. All right, cool. Um, right. He told me. Well, he didn't exactly tell me. I this time at least. Oh God. So the the fucking diagonals aren't really working because of the emulator. I can't. I can never find a fucking good one. I guess. But yeah, I can talk to these guys. They tell you about Lavos. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Blah, 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 because I want fuckface to tell me about um, the mountain, and I can go into the mountain, and that'll be the next place I have to get to. Yeah, the, the diagonals aren't really working, and it kind of sucks, but it's better than the fucking emulator just straight up not, it just freeze, it just froze. No, thank you. Really? Well, let me know where to find me if the need should arise. 
So, like, if I just hang around here, will you tell me stuff? Can I take stuff out of your fridge? Wait, why do you have a fridge? I mean, I guess this is modern times, but there's nothing else electrical around here. Oh, should you desire to return to Truce Village, use a shortcut to the Cave of the Mountains to the north. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. It's this way. Hecarin Cave. Ah, shit! Oh, shit! Death to the mystics. Uh, death to the mystic. Mystics. Mystics enemies. Death to the mystics enemies. You die. How are you not dead? Bet your robot can kill him in one hit. Honestly, I'm just kind of hanging on to this guy until I get Frog. Because Frog's a badass. I li not to say that I don't like Robo, because I've never used him before. But I'm just hanging on to Robo until I get Frog. Because Frog's a badass. But Ramon, you say? You can use Rocket Roll with with Chrono and fucking Robo. This is true. Honestly, the party is, is really going to take shape once I figure out what triple techs I can use with all the different party members. It's a jar-ish. Oh no, it's a jar that just spat out fucking four. I want to kill the gin bottle first. That's what I want to kill. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I have to use fu uh, magic on it. Because Chrono would it should have... Oh, fucking... Now she's blind. Awesome! This is great stuff, man. Laser spin. Will it work? I wonder. Is it... That counts as magic damage, right? Yeah, it does! Swiggity, swiggity, sweet. Attack, lightning, on the gin bottle. Okay! Yeah, I've I've never I don't remember encountering that enemy. Like I just hit it and it did nothing. Like it, it did nothing to it. Somebody leveled up. I didn't read it. Whatever. But yeah, if this game suddenly looks a thousand times better, it's kind of because I uh, <laughs> I'm using a different emulator. I'm so far I'm loving it because there's no skips. There's absolutely no skips. No little hiccups. Die, a temporite. I guess you need magic as well, right? Ice. Oh, tech, um, laser spin. Yeah, motherfucker! I lo I, dude, I love his little dance. It's so cute. Whoosh. Oh, no, you're not dead? I guess his laser spin isn't, like, as powerful as his other stuff. <laughs> you can't move. Lightning! Okay. Robo's level up. Maybe that's why I didn't keep Robo, because I thought his, his lasers didn't really do much. Oh, look, another chest. Got a mid ether. Oh, always a fan of those. What's over here? More temporites. Robo, it's time for you to shine. Uh, not you, you. Laser spin! Yeah, bitch! Take it! Take the lasers! Take it in your ass! Oh, please kill everybody. Yes! Robo, you fucking beautiful bastard. That's so awesome. Uh, but speaking of text, is there anything I'm, I'm learning? Spin cut. Double damage. Oh, dude, I remember spin cut. It does... Oh, dude, spin cuts. How much do I need to get spin cut? I need 138. Okay, yeah, dude, spin cut's really awesome. Cure is like a better heal. Robo tackle, tackle an enemy. All right, so it's going to be a while before I learn spin cut, but everything else I'm going to learn fairly quickly. And I'm cool with that. Let's see, are my diagonals working? Oh, yeah, they're, they're totally working. They just weren't, well, some of them are. Yeah, no, they're, they're not all working. It's okay. I'll manage. So yeah, give me a thumbs up if the enemy, if the enemy, if the uh, video looks a lot better, because it definitely looks a lot better to play, and it it feels a lot better. Uh, laser, um, how much does laser spin even cost? Three, fuck. Ore beam. Uh, no. Let's use rocket roll. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, come on. I was just saying. I was just saying. Don't, don't do that again. Oh, fuck. I jinxed it. Rocket. Rock! 
Please all die. Please all die. Good. Okay. <laughs> let's never ever do that again. Let's yeah, let's let's never let's never hiccup like that again, please. Cause I was just talking about how awesome you are. No! Don't fucking frame drop like that. The frame rate just keeps fucking dropping. What? The, does, do they all have to like be hit with, with magic? Is that is that what I'm getting? Looks like it, cause like the my physical attacks aren't doing much. Huh. Yeah, I think they all just need to hit. Blah, blah, blah. I think they all just need to be hit with magic. Uh, let's. I got lightning. I got you, bitch. Okay. I mean, I guess that's cool. It's like. They they just give you a new ability and then they're like I wouldn't say yeah they're forcing you to use it it's, they're they're forcing you to use it so so that you learn how and that they're teaching you that certain enemies physical attacks uh, certain enemies that physical attacks do nothing against magic hits them hard so before this Luca was really necessary because she had that flame toss that you needed to use to kill certain enemies but now you've got everybody that can use magic and. Later, it comes into play that certain enemies only are good against certain types of magic. So, combination. No, I don't want combination. I'm just going to hit this with lice. Lice? I'm going to hit it with ice. Do the Octo Blushes at least take physical damage? I'm blind anyway. Oh, uh, attack? Nope. Well, it doesn't. I, I, I can't. I don't know. Yeah, they take physical damage, but I'm sure magic does more. So we're going to have Robo do his laser attack. If Robo would, you know, move. Robo, move! God damn it. And see, see the, the game just got a little harder because they can inflict blind. So enemies that inflict statuses are a little harder. Okay. Game Design 101. This is what I'm saying. I, that's, that's what I've been saying for a while. I like studying this game uh, for... To, to, because because it's, it's damn close to a perfect RPG. Uh, here, comes, here comes the song. Yeah. Oh, that's a door. Is that a door? No, fucking... The door right there. Do I have to wait? Hold on. Do I have to go diagonal to get in? No. Okay. Good. Because if I had to use diagonals, I'd have been pissed. Can I go under it? Cool. Can I go under this. Okay. So it's on a separate layer. Like all that is raised above me. Save point. Time to use a shelter. Because I've got a lot. I just, I just passed it. Hooray! Now we save. Yes. Okay. So, come here. I'm assuming it's going to be boss time. Death to the Mystic's enemies! Oh. Hey, buddy. I'm in trouble. Uh, keep spamming magic. Just, just spam all the magic. Spam all the magic. Robo, you're going to serve as our healer right now. Magic seems to be working. I'm okay with this. Hecron. Oh, Hecron's cave. I get it. Laser spin? You, you can do with one laser spin. While we still have control of the party. Did you just snot bubble me, you little shit? Oh, you are fucking dead to me. Take that, Hecron. Hecron? Hecron? Hecaran? I got it on. I got it on. I got to get it up. I got to get it up. I got to get it up. But, <laughs> okay, so he uses snot bubbles to attack. He doesn't seem terribly... He's doing a decent amount of damage, but it doesn't seem terribly hard. Oh, wait. Okay. There it is. That's why we waited. Cure beam. 
on Chrono. We want to keep control of the, of the party. That's what we want to do. That's the key to winning RPGs or, or, or winning boss battles is keeping control of the of the party. Once the once the party falls out of your control, it's incredibly hard to get it back, especially against the hard, against, especially against harder bosses in general. It's going to be really hard to get it back. Go ahead and try to attack. All right, we just need to wait. We just we seriously just just need to wait. Because he will counter and it will hurt. So I'm going to have Cure Beam on Marley. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. She just got low HP, right? That's just... Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Brief counterattack break. Cool. Uh, Ice. So we stopped with his counterattacks. Now we can start hitting him again. But yeah, that, that is the secret to, to this boss. When he hunkers down, just don't hit him. Just wait till it's done and start... Wailing on him again. He's not really that hard. He's just intimidating. Cure beam on Chrono. Keep control of the party. See, we just negated all the damage that was just done to him. Now, I mean, unfortunately, because you don't really know the timing, he can sneak in like like in the middle of you uh, trying to attack. He'll be like, "Oh, I'm gonna hunker down." L at least in active mode. I'm not sure about wait, but but in active, he can definitely like you're picking out your skill, and he'll be like, "I'm hunkering down," and then you'll attack him. And yeah, so the harder, th if you want to use difficulty uh, to describe it, I'd say wait is more difficult than. Oh God. Yeah, I'd, I'd say wait is more difficult than than uh, active. Is, or no, sorry, active is more difficult than wait is. I can talk. See, look at that. I was gonna attack him. He's like, "No, go ahead and try to attack." No, I'm not going to. In fact, I'm just gonna wait right here while you decide. Uh, uh, also, if you are in wait, you have to wait outside of the menus for for this to go through. Because if you're in the menus, he will uh, he'll just he'll just stay there because the game isn't active while you're in the me uh, the the timers are not active while you're in the menus. Who did you hit? You hit Robo. That's why his health is low. Oh shit, he's still hunkering down. Right? No? Doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna keep wailing on him, because it, cause it, cause it seems... It seems okay right now. He's not counterattacking. At least not visibly. I'm doing a lot of damage to him. Fuck you, Yakra. Or no, <laughs> it's not Yakra. Yakra was the first guy. Oh, there you go. He, I guess he did counterattack a little bit. Um, no, because we want you to be able to heal. Or a whirl, or a beam. Yeah, no, we're just going to ice and lightning. Yeah, Luca gets fire. I should have went. Should have went to go visit what's her what's his fuck, Specchio with Luca, but I'm not gonna use her. Water wave. Uh shit. Okay. We need. Okay. Great. Awesome. This is not good. Oh. Okay. Good. He's dead. He's dead. All right. Awesome. Whoo! I'm like Chrono might die. <laughs> Chrono might just go down. If only the. If only the great Magus, who brought forth Lavos four hundred years ago, had destroyed the human race. The world would have belonged to us mystics. <laughs> You're dead. In the Middle Ages, Magus created Lavos, who was responsible for destroying this planet. If we go back to the Middle Ages and destroy Magus, maybe we can change history. Hey, Chrono. We could use the gate at the fairgrounds. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Jump in. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you, just, like, you just see Robo hit the water and die because he's, you know, because he's electric. It's electric. That's Luca's house. I'm not going to go visit Luca's house without Luca. It seem, Where's my daughter? I don't. She's, uh, she's in, in kind of in a place that's beyond time. You know, it's whatever. Residence. Um, truce in. Uh, do I want to go to the inn? Yeah, it'd probably be. Ch yeah, it it'd be cheaper than using um. 
yeah. Like, going to the end is definitely cheaper than using a shelter. I only want to use a shelter when I'm in, like, the middle of a dungeon. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I'm glad. But uh, with that, I think we're going to call the episode. Uh, next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we're going to go to the Millennial Fairgrounds and use the fucking gate there to go to the Middle Ages. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.